Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I have a card project featuring these two stamp sets. These are both from Neat and Tangled. I'm going to be using the Heart of Gold stamp set as well as the Painted Hello stamp set and the Coordinating Die. And I'm going to start with this big faceted heart. This is from the Heart of Gold stamp set. And I'm going to heat emboss it on some vellum. So you saw me prep the vellum there with my EK Success powder tool. And now I'm inking up the stamp with Versamark ink and stamping it onto that prepped area of the vellum. Now I like to use the Essentials by Ellen 43 pound vellum. It's a nice heavyweight vellum. I just feel like I get really good results with this and it really helps to minimize the warping when you're using a nice high quality vellum like this. So now I've added my WOW Metallic Gold Sparkle Embossing Powder and I'm just heat setting that with my heat tool. You can see I'm keeping my heat tool moving and I did make sure that my heat tool was heated all the way up before I took it to the vellum. Those are a couple of ways that you can really prevent warping of your vellum along with using that nice high quality vellum as well. So now I've taken this embossed image, I've flipped it over to the back side. So I'm doing all of my coloring on the back side of this vellum, and I'm adding some various green tones to the back side of this. I'm kind of creating an ombre effect with these Copic markers here, and I'll make sure that I list the specific Copic colors over in the supply section on my blog. So to get the full effect, you actually have to kind of flip this over to see if you have the colors where you wanted. I didn't have quite the intensity that I wanted in these colors, so I'm just going back and adding another layer over those colors that were already there. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and just fussy cut this image out. So I have to be completely honest with you. When I started this card, I had no clue where I was going with it. So I ended up here with this beautiful heart image and I'm like, what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> So I grabbed this pattern paper. This is from the Fancy That collection. It's a My Mind's Eye collection. And I just trimmed down a piece of this kind of ombre pink pattern paper here. It has that beautiful gold foil detailing, which will bring in the gold that's on my heart. And I'm going to add this to a card front. Now this card front is made of some Nina Solar White cardstock. And this cardstock is cut to about four inches by five and a quarter inches. So about a quarter inch off your standard A2 size card. And I've added some ATG tape runner adhesive to the back of this pattern paper, and I'm just using my grid mat to help me line it up along the bottom of that card front. And once I get that attached on there, I'm gonna flip it over and trim off the excess. So I did go ahead and add that heart onto my card front, and I used a little bit of the CoolTac clear foam adhesive for that. And I just kind of hid it behind some of the embossed lines so that it wouldn't show too much. And now I'm adding just a little bit of this gold glitter cardstock. It's about an eighth of an inch wide, and I just used my Zig two-way glue pin to attach that right underneath that pattern paper strip. So now I'm taking this painted hello greeting. This is also from Neat and Tangled, and I am going to emboss it onto this little piece of vellum here. I'm using my Misty to do this because I wanna make sure that I get a nice clean impression. And also I had ripped my stamp, so putting it onto the Misty helped me get it kind of all lined up there. And if I needed to restamp it, I could, but I didn't have a problem with it. I embossed it in that same WOW metallic gold embossing powder, and now I'm going to use the coordinating die to just cut this out. So I've positioned it over my embossed image and I just held it in place with a little bit of micropore tape and now I'm running it through my Big Shot machine. And this will eventually attach right over that heart. You're going to see me add the CoolTac clear foam adhesive once again. I'm going to add a double layer onto the left edge that's going to be hanging off of this heart so that I have that nice lift because my heart behind it is already lifted. So it's going to hang off there and I need a double layer of that clear foam adhesive. So I've gone ahead and added that and now I'm adding it over my heart. So I decided I wanted to bring in a little bit more of that ivory or cream color that's in my pattern paper. So I am just using my precision base plate and this die from Simon Says Stamp, it is the Stacked Hearts die. And I just cut it out of some cream cardstock and I'm gonna do a little card surgery here. So I'm gently pulling up this arrangement that I have and I'm going to place the stacked hearts die cut right behind that heart. Now I am going to do a little surgery on this die cut. I'm gonna cut off a few of these just so that it's not overlapping my pattern paper too much. 
And I'm going to add this onto my card front just using a little bit of the Zig two-way glue pen. This is one of my favorites. Had I thought about it earlier, I might have used my stick it adhesive on the back of this because it is such an intricate die cut. And it would have been great to have the adhesive all over the back of this die cut, but I didn't think about that. So <laughs> I'm just going with it here. I added it onto my card front and I trimmed off that excess that was hanging over the top. And then I'm going to add that vellum grouping back onto there. Now remember those little pieces that I cut off? I'm actually going to use those. I'm adding a little bit more of that Zig 2A glue pin and I'm going to add a little bit of that grouping up here just so it kind of fills out that top right hand corner. And then I am going to add these couple little ones just right below that hello. So I've kind of connected them just like they would be if that had been the way the die cut was originally intended, but I'm just pushing them up next to each other and you can't tell that I've pieced these together at all. So now it's time to complete my sentiment. And for that, I'm going to be using this stamp set. This is from W Plus 9. It is the biggest fan stamp set. This has a lot of really fun sentiments in it. I am going to use the sentiment that says, I just love you. I'm inking it up in some evening gray ink from Altenew. By the way, I love the new grays from Altenew. If you haven't gotten a chance to try them out, they are fabulous grays. So I've stamped that onto that cream cardstock, and then I'm just using my aluminum rail trimmer to just trim that down so I get an equal amount on both the top and the bottom of the sentiment strip. And now I'm using my scissors to just cut those ends into a banner shape. So I cut up the center, I cut a slit up the center, and then I cut from each corner to that center slit and that gives me the perfect banner shape on each of those ends. To attach this little sentiment strip, I'm just using my regular foam adhesive for that. I didn't need the clear foam adhesive for this because you can't see through it. And then I've attached that onto the bottom and then I decided it would be fun to take some of those hearts that were cut out of the center of the stacked hearts die cut and just kind of randomly add them back in. So I've just used my Zig 2A glue pen. I've put little dots of glue into some of those hearts and then added those ivory hearts back in there. So now it's time to just finish off the card. I'm adding a little tape runner adhesive behind my card front. I'm going to add it to this piece of Simon Says Stamp fog cardstock, but I'm using a layer of fun foam between the card front and the layer just to add a little bit more lift and dimension. And once I get that card front added onto my layer, then I'm going to go ahead and create my card base. I'm using some textured white cardstock. This is from The Essentials by Ellen Line. And I'm creating a horizontal card. You guys, I hardly ever create horizontal cards. Let's be real. So I've scored it at four and a quarter, which really took some thinking for me because I normally am scoring at five and a half. But this is cut to five and a half by eight and a half. So I needed to score it at four and a quarter. And I've added it onto my card base. And now I'm just finishing this card off with, you guessed it, a nice, healthy sprinkling of some sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. And I've discovered that I really like to place these onto my card and then just use my finger to lift the edge of them, kind of tip them up, add my multi-medium in the matte finish behind them, and then I can just push it right back down, right into place. So that finishes off my card for today. Just a fun kind of I don't know. I almost feel like it's like ice cream shop inspired. I don't know. Baskin Robbins maybe with all the pinks and the greens. I'm not real sure. <laughs> but I love the way that this card turned out. As always, I will have links to all the supplies used in this project over at my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com where you can see more still shots and find more information. And I will have a list of the featured supplies in the description at YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.